Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to copy a complex pin in Canva. And all I did was I went to the Canva homepage and I clicked on Pinterest pin. So what that's doing is giving us a Pinterest pin that's in a two to three aspect ratio. So two wide, three high, a thousand by 1500 is two to three, 600 by 900 is two to three. Pinterest doesn't really care what the size is as long as the photo quality is there and you have um, the, the, you know, the right aspect ratio. So what we want to do is in the past, I would try to um, use a template and kind of find these and do all that. And it was incredibly hard to do. Um, it was kind of jury rigging it, but I found that I can recreate a pin this complex in like five minutes because the the way that Canva works is you can just pull in your elements and then do um, you know just a few little things to make it look like this so what we want to do first is we want to look at Lena's pin now Lena is having a media mind challenge where she's making us um, write better blog posts and do better titles and make better pins um, as part of her adventures in SEO course and um, I'll put a link to that below, but this is um, a really complex pin. At first, when I looked at this, I was like, I don't know if I can teach people how to make something with this many moving parts. But then come to find out when you really look at it and you figure out what's going on, you can make this pretty easily. So we're going to do this. So very first thing I like to do is figure out where the pictures are, because at the generally, they're going to be the very back layer, right? So... It's best to find them. So what you want to do is you want to go to elements and you want to have pictures. So we have a picture across the top, right? And you just drag this in and it's going to be about yay big, right? We don't know yet how many of the elements we need to get on there, but we want to um, kind of just get started spacing this out. And at the bottom, there's two pictures side by side. Hers aren't quite equidistant, but I don't care. I'm just going to make my two pictures side by side and they're a little bit taller than they are wide-ish, I think. This one's almost square. But we're going to make them square. And then we have a white background. So we're going to leave that for now. Sometimes you have to bring in a white back box to make this work. But I think for this one, a white background in the middle is just what it generally is. Although if you did it as a PNG, that might wind up with empty space. But we're going we're gonna to do it now. So the next thing is this 17, but see how it there's a circle there that the 17 sits on? So we're going to make a circle, right? Ding, ding, ding. All right. So that kind of goes there. And now we need to make our circle white. We'll make our circle white. There she is. So she's covering part of this, um, this up here. Now I'm covering a lot more of, of the picture, so maybe we need to make our circle a little bit smaller. And then that's all we have. Lena has her logo here, but um, we're not going to do a logo. We're just going to put um, the website at the bottom. So now that's all the elements that are not text. So next we need to do text. So we're going to pull a text box in. And the very first thing we're going to do is this kind of scripty, scribbly font. So we're going to say adjective, right? Because what we're doing here is we're making a template for ourselves. So we're going to have um, like an adjective, top, best, easy, you know, something like that. But we need it to be that scripty font. So we're going to look for the nice thing about scripts are you can type script and just it'll pull in all the scripts. So I don't want dancing script looks very fancy. Um, that looks a little harsh for this. Oh, I'm in a brush script. That looks a little too... What about playlist? Let's try that. Oh, that's cute. It's not quite as... Um, since we're, since we're um, copying Lena, we're not going to be able to get it exactly the way she has. She may have, um, you know, uploaded her own script fonts and things like that. And we may need to make this top word a little smaller. Even though adjective is a long word, it looked like it was kind of taking over the picture. And then we want to copy this, right? So copy, because we have that most profitable. 
So we have another adjective, right, over here at the top. Um, we're going to just put that, leave that right there. And then we have, oh, we have this gray box. So we need to go back to elements and get, get, us, get us a box. And it just pulls in a gray box, so life is good. And we're going to do this, dink, dink, dink. And then this is the same font. So you're kind of reverse engineering everything and going, there's, while this looks like a crazy pin, there's not all that much going on with it. So now we have to copy it, copy this. We're going to put that in there and we need it to be white. And that's a call to action. So call to action, right? Um, Okay, so now we just have this uh, kind of plain uppercase, uppercase text. So we're going to come here, add a text box, and we're going to make it bigger, right? Big word. Oh, and we need it to be caps. Big word. My box isn't wide enough. Oh, somehow it got sideways. So I love that this happened. What do you do when, when something goes wrong? You delete it. You just add another text box. Big word. Never get freaked out. I mean, seriously, it, it's marketing. There are no marketing emergencies. All right, so we got our big word. And that's okay. I think that uh, I've been working on this before to make sure I knew how to do it. And I think that that's okay. Hers is maybe a little bolder. Let's see if we can bold it. It didn't really bold. I mean, I don't think it got that much, um, you know, that much uh, heavier in the lines of the font. So it took my whole big word away. You'll get better at this. I'll get better at this. I use... Um, well, I up until now, I've used Photoshop, but now that I've been messing around with this for you guys, I feel like having these templates, and next month, my goal is to make two blog posts, or two pins a day for a month for my um, old posts, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling doing it in this rather than in Photoshop. Um, okay, here's Anton. Oh, that's better, but it's not kind of, see how these are kind of wide and this is kind of tall and bold? Let's see if we can find something a little bit rounder. That, um, um, let's try it. That's not bad. We can live with that. Okay, there we go. Big word. And now we have our number and uh, add a text box, right? Um, and I did look for this scripty font that Lena's using, but it must be a special one because it, um, it's not in there. <laughs> uh, it's super cute. So there we go. We got all, oh, we got to make this a bolder. Um, we need just a bold serif. So remember we said the other ones are non-serif with no feats on the bottom. These are serif fonts, so we have to find something that has serifs at the bottom. So there's the slab. Let's see. That would work perfect. Right? So that would be cute up there. And then this is pink. Pink, pink. That's my pink. So this looks more like Lena's pink. Oh, and she has uh, this underlined. So let's do that. So we need elements, right? And down at the bottom is a line. So we want a line. And we want to make it pink. And then we come up here. Okay, so now it's in front of our J and we don't like that, right? Um, I think you can make your line skinnier. There you go. All right. So all you have to do is click on your word and then say position to front. And see our J went over top of the line. Perfect. And then we have kids can sell, but it has kind of a pink background. So all you're going to do is you're going to say copy 
you're going to make it pink. You're going to make it a tiny bit bigger, right? And you're going to put it over top of this. And then you're going to say position backwards. And see how now it has that little bit of pink behind it? That is, and you, you can make it look, you know, you can just dink around with this. It's going to not be perfectly outlined like you can do in Photoshop, but it will definitely give you that feeling of a drop shadow that you can do. You could also do, so if you want to get super fancy with it, you could do this. You could copy and you can make one a little bit to the right. One, two, three. And then pull this in. Nope. We gotta find this word. And it would give you the both sides of it, right? So if you did it kind of in the middle, we gotta bring it up to the front. Position to front. It would give you both sides of the drop shadow. See, that's a little bit better. So you have um, the front and the back. But I feel like that really made it um, hard to read. So I, I wouldn't do that. There's too much going on there. Um, we just want to delete that one set of it and make that little drop shadow. I like that. I think it looks kind of cute. Um, you see it more on the action than you do on the call because of how, you know, making a word bigger behind it um, isn't the same as outlining text. But I think it looks cute. Um, and that is it. Oh, I was going to put, I like to put my um, website on everything. Doesn't really make a lot of difference. People can Photoshop it out, but I put it in. So I would just come down here, www.website.com, and there you have it. So this is how you make this very fancy one, but now let's do it for it, for real, right? Um, so one of the gals in the group is doing this post, the one clear indicator of autism in older babies, okay? Um, so we're going to make that. So we're going to say the, oops, we're in caps, we need lower, the one, and we're going to move this around till it looks cute, right? Clear indicator, indicator, if I could spell, I should have paid more attention in high school. Okay, so we got to get our line. So we're going to move our line over here and we put that in there. Now this, if you're going to make this as a template, I would uh, totally get your, you know, this is a right hand piece. Okay, clear indicator. We could put, um, you're not writing a sentence. So a lot of times I will leave out of, right? Do we need of for this to be comprehensible? We really don't. Um, but if you're funny, then you could keep it in there. And then we just need our line for indicator as the most important word. And then this is what we want people to see in the pin right? Um, this to me is the most important thing and we're going to make it as big as we can get it and still, and still have, you know, room for these other guys. And we want to nudge this up so we don't want it so tight in there. People don't like when your fonts are too close together and we got to move it because our line is causing us issues. You just want to get it to where you um, get those little, uh, you know, uh, corners like that. Then you can move it. Okay. And this turned white. I don't know why that turned white. Oh, that's called to action. Okay, Whew. that was a close one. 
All right, got that. Oh, there's where it went. So we want to delete the second one, right? Indicator. In -di cater. I N D I C A T O R. Well, it's spelt correctly. Of autism in older babies. Now, Lena had pink on um, on gray. I'm gonna wait and see what color our pictures are before I um, I really try to do this. Now, her branding is very pink like this, so we want to see. This is the website that um, that we're doing. So hers is more teal and and burgundy. So we're gonna um, do, 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 do. okay. There we go. So we're gonna just right off the bat make this more burgundy, right? And then what that does is that puts that color right here. And if you're doing your own stuff more and more your colors that you use over and over will be there um, but let's get some pictures in here so we need to go to uploads and we need to upload an image so i pulled this off of her website this was one of the pictures she kind of already has in the post right so we're going to use that and let's see where we want to use it do we want this to be the top one we could, I mean, let's leave it there for now, but now we need two more pictures of toddlers. So we're gonna go back to Unsplash and make toddlers. And for autism, I, I want something that's a little less happy, right? Like, so if you're, if you're, um, if you're, dealing with an autistic child, it may not be that you have this happy-go-lucky um, kid. You may be worrying because your kid isn't so happy-go-lucky. Um, so let's see if we can find another toddler that isn't quite so happy. Oh, that could be good. Look at this. All right, we'll try this. That one. Okay. So we're going to upload the three of those and you can do this by click shift and then you can upload them all at once, right? And then you don't have to. I think you can upload them all at once. Maybe not. Oh, we got to do them one at a time. He used to be able to upload them all at once, but that's fine. It takes us one minute. Okay, so now you want to think about your pictures. And this picture is a wide picture, this one on the top. We're going to take this other picture out, and we're going to drag this one over here, and we're going to see what we can do. Can we get that toddler more over on this side? without it looking dorky, right? Okay, I don't hate that. Hmm. All right, we'll see. Um, because that baby's starting to walk. So we're talking about indicators of autism in older children. So um, that child is starting to walk and we're gonna put the number. That might be too much. You would wanna try it. Uh, maybe too much. Let's go back to just our one. Okay, so we got this. That does. Got to move down. There we go. Okay, perfect. So we have that, and then we have our other pictures. So let's slide those in there. So they're both pictures of kids kind of turned away from you, maybe not as responsive, maybe having a little bit of fit. These babies might even be a little bit too big, too grown up. Um, but then all you have to do is you have to say, I, see, I don't like how this is now. I would say either um, match a color in here or match her um, her 
branding, which is more of this kind of like teal, and then make this white, right? White. So that is her pin. Oh, and then we have her website down here. And her website is Corey at Home. And we can't see it on this one, so we're going to make it white. Right? And then you don't have to put this down here. I generally brand it with my website. You could put it over here. You could make it really small. You could move it around. You could use the, the, the you know, her, her logo like Lena does. And Lena has that on all her stuff. My lo logo isn't cute, so, I mean, I guess I could solve all this by making myself a cute logo but that's that's up for discussion so hopefully that helps tara jacobson marketing artfully